speed of sound. You got it? What is it? Scream it out. I'll check my notes. I happen to have notes. Is he going to be right? What is it? Really fast is a good guess, but not accurate. I'm from Keeling, and we're kind of math geeks over there, and we really like real accurate information. Let's see, how about player number 972 in row 87? Yes, you, sir, pointing at your head. What is it? Did he say 344 meters per second? I think he got it. That's exactly right. The speed of sound is 344 meters per second. Okay, now here's the cool part. Check it out, kids. When we start this concert and you play through your twinkles, this is kind of like a rite of passage for us as string players. Every string player since Mozart was a baby starts with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as their first song. I did, and I think a lot of the directors here sure did too. So if we're launching our twinkle out into outer space here in this wonderful park on this beautiful day, if that thing travels away from this concert site at 344 meters per second squared, here's the second math problem. See if you can work this out. How long will it take your twinkle to reach the moon? Calculate, calculate, calculate. Bows up if you know the answer. I think I see one in row 65. Yes, you, the kid in the purple shirt in row 65 over here. Scream it out. Did he get it? 12.94 days? That's absolutely correct. So really cool here. When you guys launch your twinkle into outer space here, in just under 13 days, that twinkle, that sound that's traveling out at the speed of sound into outer space will reach the moon. And it makes me think about this being the 39th annual Spring Fest. What we ha will have once you've completed that rite of passage is 39 layers of twinkle reverberating out into outer space at the speed of sound. And I think that's really cool because I calculated my string fest. I'm not the only director in town who had string fest as their first performance experience. Mine was a long time ago. And my twinkle actually last year passed Mars and was, is now on its way out to Jupiter. And Mr. Worst, I believe yours is approximately 365 days behind mine. That would be almost exact. But we have at least one director here whose twinkle is a little further along and, and very nearly approaching Jupiter because they're older than me, but I'm not going to rat them out there. So, if you're ready to join the Cool Kids Club and Orchestra, let's launch our twinkle into outer space. Welcome to the festival, parents. Please enjoy. All right, the first thing we all learn together is, of course, Twinkle Little Star. Students, we're gonna start off with Mississippi Hot Dog Twinkle. Then we will play the introduction for Motorcycle Motorcycle Twinkle. And then we will play the introduction for Longbow Twinkle.
very, very nice. Each one of these songs teaches us a different aspect of our instruments and, and different parts of this music. We learn Twinkle to learn how to play with different styles of bow, different lengths of bow, and when we first learn how to play, of course, our, our notes as well. The next one we're going to do is French Folk Song. French Folk Song teaches us how to sustain our bow, how to play a nice long up bow dotted half note, which we have at the end of each one of the lines. So and we have a special move at the end. Everybody remember our special move, and let's go and start in our playing position now. French Folk Song. folk song is the first song we do where we're not actually playing all together. Are You Sleeping is a round where we have different um, sections of the orchestra playing at different times. We practiced this some this morning, but let's all remind everybody, we're going to start off playing it two times together, and then we're going to play the round. So here is the whole orchestra performing Are You Sleeping together. Two times, everybody. try them in our rounds okay so just so that we'll all remember if you're a group one would you hold up your bow group ones are with me very good group ones if you're a group two would you hold your bow for Mr. Jerry? Group two. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Mr. Lewis, you know what makes my group really special what's that we have all the harp players in my group. oh that's true I know you have an unfair advantage with our awesome harps thank you oh, and who's group three Bases. Right, bases. So remember everybody, three times through, group one's with me, group two's with Mr. Jarrett, bases, you rock.
and bow together. The next piece that we learn is Allegro. Allegro teaches us how to play excuse me, with uh, short bows. It teaches us how to retake our bow. And in the middle line, we have lots of musical aspects. We have a decrescendo where we get softer. We slow way down and we hold our bows out in a fermata. All together, watch for the fermata. And Ms. Shockley will play the low note and we come back and play the last line, retaking our bow. Here's Allegro, everybody. learning my twinkles and my branch folk song and my are you sleeping those first sounds were well uh, probably a lot like some of y'all's first sounds they were kind of a sound that only a mother could love but my mother didn't love it she used to send me to the furthest room in the house to do my practice and then when I got to Allegro and I finally mastered Allegro she came running she said what on earth is that that you're playing and I thought I had really messed it up or something. I was like, well, I don't know. It was a little tune called Allegro. Was it really that bad? I could, I could go to the garage. And she said, no, no. That sounded like music. And I was flabbergasted. I was like, Mom, what, are you talk what do you think I've been doing with the other stuff? So I don't know if you, any of you guys had that same experience. But the Allegro is one of those songs that, to me, is another kind of rite of passage. It's, it's our first more mature song. That's right, and that's what we're doing here, boys and girls. We're teaching everyone not only just to play their instruments and to play the notes, but to, but to be able to play music together, which we all think, as, certainly as music teachers, that's just about the coolest thing that you can do is, is play music together. And this will probably be the largest orchestra you guys will ever play in in your entire life. I don't know if we called Guinness or not, but... This is a great, wonderful group, and you guys sound fantastic. We're going to keep on going. The next one we do after Allegro is the one that we play specially with our fingers. So if you guys would all set your bows carefully down or in your pocket. Chopsticks, everybody.
Fantastic job, boys and girls. Good rehearsal this morning. Wonderful performance. Let's go out with our very best performance of the day, Somebody I Used to Know.